Welcome to Talking Acting number 8 for 2022. Last week we were exploring comic timing. And after I'd finished recording that piece, I remembered something from Keith Johnston's fabulous book, Impro. Because he describes how, with the slipping on the banana peel gag, that if it's a trap, Slip, slipping on the banana peel, we don't laugh because we have sympathy. It's only when it's a, a high status character that we don't have sympathy for who, who slips on the banana peel and therefore has an instant lowering of their status <laughs> that we laugh. He argues that Richard Nixon slipping on a banana peel would make us laugh. What's interesting about this is his exploration of the connection between status and humour, and it both explains why we laugh, and it also explains that point, or reinforces that point that we were discussing last week, that um, we need to have permission to laugh. The, the, the production tone needs to give the audience permission to laugh or they won't. It's a, a fascinating book and it had a huge impact on my understanding of um, performance, um, how it connects to life, um, and, and, and also how story works, how narrative works. A very formative book for me. And so I thought that I'd have another look at it and have a look at the issue of status that Keith Johnston thinks is really important. And he uses that as a basis for um, all his, his improvisation um, theories and processes that, that, that he evolved. He's kind of a, the father of improvisation in, in, uh, as a performance art. His views on status are terrific. He explores how sudden changes in status can uh, generate surprises both for the characters in the scene and for the audience. They have great entertainment value and that connects to the work that we do on the value of surprises. Um, and, and he explores um, the, the value of inverting status and, and the value that that has to narrative. For example, if you invert the status of a master-servant relationship, then um, uh, the servant is the one who's in charge and giving all the orders and the master is the one who's responding. And that, that generates an entertaining scenario. And, and he also explores the importance of, of status that, that characters competing to keep their status a little bit above the other character or a little bit below makes for interesting scenes because it's what we do in life. Status affects our perspectives and our behaviours. And, and we had a very clear example of this just yesterday where an actor lowered their status in a scene so much that there was no hope of them achieving a successful outcome to their conversation. So that scene was over before it had begun. It's a very engaging book. It's funny. I believe everything he says. It's profound. And yet, I'm not quite sure how to use it. Now, Keith Johnson explains to his actors um, formulas as to how they can uh, apply status uh, issues to their performance process. But on reading that chapter this morning, I was finding them complicated and intricate. And we can use his book to understand how these things function in life to inform us about life and acting. And we will find him inspiring, challenging, 
and, and incredibly honest. But in the end, you have to make sure that the process you use is one that you understand. You need to understand how and why it works. Otherwise, you can't do it. If you found this approach to acting really helpful, there is more practical information in the link in the notes below. There's also a free download of an e-book, How to Succeed Where 70% of Actors Fail in Auditions. There's a lot more common sense, practical information there.